Greetings folks, Twin Proper here bringing you yet another in my series. And today, I'm bringing you a pistol from Car Arms. The CW series specifically. And as you can tell by the skillfully arranged, powerful, man-dropping... Oh, I'm sorry. Sensitive people. Zombie dropping. Bullets arranged in front of the pistol. This is the Car CW45. Now I think the thesis for this video should be why do you suppose so many people have the CW series of car pistols? And the number one reason, if you're going to consider it over the PM series of car pistols, is going to be affordability. Because you've got a pistol right here with the same behavior as the PM series of pistols. The same trigger pull, the exact same trigger pull, the exact same trigger as the PM series of pistol for anywhere between $200 to $300 less than the PM series of pistol. Now after that, it's up to the user whether or not the differences in price between these two pistols and features, I should say, is going to be enough to warrant spending the extra money to get a PM series pistol or the CW series of pistol for less money. But let me zoom out here and we'll go over those differences. First of all, this is an outstanding concealed carry pistol. It's a very comfortable pistol to carry. It fits well in the waistband and it does not weigh very much. And I will put the specs at the end of this video, but it is very comfortable to hold in your waistband. And this pistol is about exactly the same size as my Smith & Wesson M&P shield with the extended magazine in there. So that is a very good thing for you to consider when you have six plus rounds of 45 ACP tucked in your waistband. But the differences between this pistol and the PM series of car pistols are as follows. First, the slide material and the way the slide is made is slightly different than the one that the PM series has. Uh, as you can see, it's more crudely uh, squared off here. It's not bad, it still looks good. I mean, it even looks better than the Glock slides, but it's, it's squared off, it's not as refined and rounded. It's a different kind of polishing. So that's one of the differences. Now another one of the differences is gonna be that the, um, the car CW45 etching on the slide was more or less scribed in versus the PM series having it more lasered in. Now I'm not sure if that's a big deal to anybody or not, but that's one of the differences. Another difference is going to be in the sights. Now it's still two dot sights in this pistol, just like the PM series. Now the front sight on the PM series is adjustable, whereas this one is fixed. I'm not sure how big a deal that is. I don't really think it's that big a deal either. Now another difference is going to be in the slide catch slash slide release in that this is made of a different material than the um, PM series. It's a less expensive material. Might be slightly heavier or something, but uh, that's not a big difference. The CW series also comes with one magazine versus two with the PM series. Now that could be significant because the cost of the magazines for this pistol are like 38 bucks. Oh my freaking God. That's really, really expensive for a six round magazine in my opinion. But still, it's up to you. Is it worth it or not? But the number one reason I think this pistol is less expensive than the PM series is that this pistol does not have a match grade barrel. But folks, does that matter? This is a long double action trigger pull. The same trigger pull in this gun is the same trigger pull in the PM series of pistols, which it's a long double action trigger pull with the reset going all the way forward. And I'll demonstrate that in a minute. But Considering the fact that it's the same trigger pull in both guns, why would they bother with the match grade barrel in the PM series of pistols? Is anyone going to shoot match with the PM series of car pistols? Nobody's going to shoot match with the PM series. So how much of a difference is it that that has a match grade barrel and this one doesn't? Not big enough. Not in my opinion. But when you're talking about a two or three hundred dollar difference, it's not enough of a difference to make me not get the car CW45. As a matter of fact, if you don't have a whole lot of money, and I don't, 
you'd be retarded to get this PM series of pistol. Um, let's do the trigger pull. And yes, folks, the gun is empty. No, I haven't been muzzle flashing you, so don't cry. The gun is empty. Um, the trigger pull is a long, smooth trigger pull, and it's just like the Ruger LCR, only a little bit better. Nice clean break. I would have to say it's probably about an eight pound trigger pull. And then the release with both guns, by the way, the PM series and the CW series, the reset comes all the way up to there, right? They're all the same. The trigger action is exactly the same, which makes me wonder why they put a match grade barrel in such a pistol. So, um, but it's a very smooth, very nice trigger pull. It's a great self-defense gun and it's a great self-defense trigger. And I mentioned that before about this pistol in one of my other videos, but um, it's an outstanding, easy to handle gun, but you still have to consider that this is 45 ACP and this gun will kick your butt after a few rounds because of the small frame. You can't, I mean, you're not really comfortable shooting this gun all day, but that's not what this gun is for. This gun is for tucking in your waistband and using for self-defense. Now, my only gripe about this pistol has been the uh, grip texturing. And as you can see here, I've got my um, rubberized talon grips on here. And I did that on purpose because the original grip texturing, and you can even see it sort of through the grip surface here, through this talon grip surface, is so aggressive that it was uncomfortable to shoot. After about 20 rounds through this gun with the original grip texturing, I was ready to put the gun down and just start shooting something else. Um, once I got the talon grips on this, it made this gun very much easier to shoot. I mean, granted, it's still a 45 ACP bullet, but it was uh, much easier to shoot, much more enjoyable to shoot after I covered up that aggressive texturing. That's my only gripe about this pistol. Other than that, this pistol has fulfilled every role I needed it to so far, and it shoots very accurately, and it is a very dependable pistol. I have not had one failure to feed, not one failure to eject, not one malfunction. This pistol has done everything well. And when you consider the fact that the magazines for this pistol here are about $38, if you don't want to spend an extra $38 and you have a 1911 pistol, the magazines for your 1911 pistol will work in this car. Now, if you want a perfect fit, the commander size 1911 magazines will fit in this car up to the um, magazine well. With the only problem being some of the 1911 magazines will uh, prevent the gun from locking open on the last round, in which case you can make some modifications to the, um, to the magazine itself so that it will lock it open. I have shot my Ruger SR 1911 magazine in this pistol and uh and it worked great worked flawlessly it didn't lock open again but it still cycled every round flawlessly so it was a great move uh if you want to save money but anyway this is the car arm cw45 a great concealed carry pistol a very comfortable to carry concealed carry pistol sporting the 45 acp round which what more can you ask for for power more and more people buy this pistol because of its affordability over its more expensive PM series pistol, and for very good reason. But thanks for watching. I'm Too Improper. Stand by, and there's going to be a range and video and photo montage coming up after this. My email address is scrolling across the bottom of the screen right now. It's tooimproper at gmail.com or Twitter at tooimproper. That's the number two improper. God bless America and keep on protecting your families and yourselves.